A hundred K <laughs> And it's all because of you It's all because of you it's had six K last year, now 100K here. Boy, we had a runaway year. All that love, beard, all the hate, put them kids in place, you know, runaways here. Quick to react like I messed up and got off track. Oops, I'm coming, my dear. So what, I run it back, J Rosa on the track when I throw flame in front of my pack. No cap in, plan to break down, get to the roots of it like a planeteer. Norm stay getting mugged at the end of the ball, we felt like Sammy Cheers. It's crazy how Eminem killed shot, gave us a shot straight out the cannon. Lucky you, them stepping stones made us not alike from your normal standards. The greatest nice guy on the tube since Mr. Rogers. And David Bell, who the good guy that finished first. If all when it's time to eat, there's no man. Yo, yo, what up? What's good? Hey, yo, shouts out to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> your mom. <laughs> well, I said, shout out to your mom. <laughs> shout out to the mom squad and the dad squad. Playing it breakdown in the and building. And shout out to your mom. Yeah. 100K. We hit 100K, y'all. We hit 100K. What's good? Thank you. Uh, we got the 100K merch in the stores, too, man. Mm -hmm. This will be up for a limited time. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So mm -hmm. go cop that. Uh, yo, so check this out. So on our No Reason to Hit a Woman video, y'all let us know that um it was an edited version and that um it wasn't the whole thing. Like we missed the funniest mm -hmm. parts. Mm -hmm. All right, so um we going back and we um we uh I'm gonna put this on the front end and I put the rest of the reaction um uh, just just so y'all won't have to go through two different reactions mm -hmm. for it. You know what I'm saying? But the other reactions still be up. But mm -hmm. um. This is gonna be on the front end, uh, so the edited part mm -hmm. that we miss. Mm -hmm. All right, so I don't know where it is, so we gotta mm -hmm. listen to the whole thing over. All right, that was a hypothetical. <laughs> you want an actual story? I'll give you one. I'll give you one. All right, I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's. Because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is going to lead me to the light, right? This, this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> so I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after, I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. Be fine, right? Absolutely. Next morning I wake up, my foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. So I'm like, I can't do it, my foot's killing me. So I wake up, my girl, I go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always... Hey, I feel him, bro. I feel him, no. Well, fuck it. Fuck it. Sometimes you just gotta be like, fuck it, man. Just fuck it. I don't want to hear no excuses. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, and I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always gotta like waterboard me with like a 20 minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go fuck yourself? Just say no. <laughs> so I'm just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? <laughs> you got a big day, right? You got a big day, right? Just go back to bed, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? <laughs> So now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's fucking goddamn bullshit. Dogs walking next to me. And I gotta admit, I got a little childish. I did. I got a little childish, you know? I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You're just gonna do whatever the hell you wanna do, right? And fuck me? Fine, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. That was it. She came down the hall, I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs> just trying to piss her off. And I gotta tell you something, worked like a charm. <laughs> worked like a charm. Yeah, hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening to. Oh! one of the highlights of the relationship. 
So I knew what she was saying. I was like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, now, we're going to talk about this right now. Comes out, poo, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears. It fucking hurt. So I'm like, honey, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poof, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. Caveman DNA starts coming up. Talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it, right? Put them on third time. She comes up. Poof, slaps them right across the room. And I snap. I'm like, fine. You want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. Right. Wait. Right. Right there. Right. I just wanted to roll her up right. in her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. Just leave her there till she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. This is major point. This is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the thing. He do a good job paying the visual. Really, yeah. that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> When you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you gonna solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. I said you shouldn't hit a woman, yeah, I'm just saying. I think we've seen that, yeah. Yeah, that must have been the edited part. Yeah. Let me see if there's something else we missed. Mm. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head they just start concocting this e- This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. But you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a- And you motherfucker! Right? <laughs> to be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue, do you keep those in the glove box? Oh my God, I'll bring my own! <laughs> now fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. You know, and I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued, but after 20 years of losing every significant battle <laughs> in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> hey. I have begun. That's a big piece well, of the puzzle. Yeah. Figuring out how they argued. Yup. And then, and then you got it. Then you you got know what I'm saying? You got it. Because you know how to stay away from those triggers. And then when when the argument do come, you know how to de-escalate. Because it always be after the argument. be like, oh, I should have said that. Yeah, yeah. Why well, didn't bring up that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. if I bring it up, start argument. But when, when, she, when she argue with you, she already got all her pinpoints. Points. She got all her points down no, that's already, That's why they catch you off guard with the argument. That's why they catch you off guard, dog. That's why we be losing the arguments, dog. Yeah. yeah. It's premeditated. Yeah, facts. Well, we be having premeditated I'm arguments. Gonna, I'm, I'm going to start an argument. Man, no, we don't do that. Yeah. We don't go try to go start an argument. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. Thanks. <laughs> I feel you. We have begun a winning tradition. <laughs> this is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right? If they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right? No problem they're with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head they just start concocting this evil statement. Totally designed, this desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it, you're in this room now, right? Oh, and then that's it, you're in this room yeah, now. You're on another room. room. So pretty much to start an argument, they stick to the point when they start losing the argument, they got to yes. throw you off mm -hmm. and make you spaz and then they stick to what you spazzed on. Yeah. So now you're in a whole nother argument from the original the argument, argument that, that they lost. That they lost, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But yeah. it shifted over here, now they focus on this one. Because you, you know have their feelings. And now it's a different ball game. Now it's a different argument. Boy. Now, 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 now you try to figure out how to apologize. You know what I'm saying? When you... We're like, why am I apologizing all of a sudden? You know what I'm saying? Well, let's get back to the initial. Right. 
the argument. Now it's not about that one. That's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it. You're in this room now, right? <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple, turn it down! <laughs> that is it, music! <laughs> so I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, I don't know what she'd just be like, well, that's why I just can't grow old and be alone. Then I... That is it, music! <laughs> like... He went to a whole other character, dog. He did. A uh, whole the old man character. Old and, man. And, and gave you a story. That's the old. That's the old man face character. And then he gave you a visual just like that. You know what I'm saying? Like he, I, I saw him as an old man in the apartment with some loud music upstairs. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh, fast. Just that quick. He was that. He's that sharp. I lose my shit. He was losing a fight. I don't know what she just be like. Well, that's why he's just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I, I lose my shit. The next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right. What happened? <laughs> Can you learn anything from my ignorance tonight? <laughs> Just know this. Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere. Okay, you're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? <laughs> all right, don't get mad. Bob and weaved, slip all of that shit. Maybe because you, you got a little dick, just let that slide. Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay, it's over. The argument is over, you've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock, all right? Yeah. Don't keep going. Don't keep yeah. going. Lean on the ropes. Don't, don't let them bait you into another. Out. Yeah. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. <laughs> rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. The champagne of victory. Hey, rub one out oh. like a man. That's the champagne of victory. Oh. You in there. <laughs> That's a bar. That's a bar. Yo. That's the champagne of yo, victory. Yo, he put a, he put you on the game on that, yo. You just stay in the pocket, yo. When they try to bait you into another argument. You won. You won. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. You keep talking about what they fucked yeah, up. Yeah. Talk about what you how you just won. Oh man, that was gold right that was there. Gold. Oh, I Thank can't you. believe I can't believe somebody edited it, edited all that out, dog. No? Gotta give Bill Burr a hug, boy. My bad. <laughs> you gotta give Bill Burr a hug. Said we got the wrong video. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to everybody who linked us to the right video, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, For real, they left out the best parts. They left out the best parts. They said what they left out the best parts. Mm. But usually when people say that, it's like, yeah, okay. But nah, they really left out the best part. They did, dog. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Hey, man, but y'all know what to do, man. Peace, love, and respect. Get you know somebody Y'all share this, uh, share this video to make sure it don't fucking rust. <laughs> no, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show. It was like a poor excuse for The View. And they started talking about domestic violence, right? Mm -hmm. For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence. Just mm -hmm. in case, you know, you didn't get the memo. You know, evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers because she didn't dry the can opener off properly. You know? It's gonna fucking rust, right? How do you not know not to... It's gonna fucking rust! Dude, dog, his ad libs! His ad libs be crazy, no. dog! His ad libs be crazy! His ad -libs Cause the ad, the ad lib got doggone sold it, dog! You know what it mean? sold it! It sold it! The ad lib was the actual punch! He's a good closer! Man, He's a man. great closer! Yo, that's you know what I'm saying? If he was on the sale, he, if he was on the sales floor, if somebody yeah. couldn't close the deal, yeah. like, all right, we're bringing Bill. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. bringing Bill. He's, bringing he's, Bill. The, he's the closer. He's the closer. <laughs> he's, the, he's the closer guy. He he made, it's going to fucking yeah, rust. He, 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 that was the joke. Yeah. yeah. How, though? He brought crazy. it home. He brought it home. He brought it home. <laughs> Damn. It's, it's, the, it's the little things the little that count. Things, you know what I'm saying? It's the little things that count. All right. Right? How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to He's keep so talking about it? He's so cold with it, dog. Um, who, who, it's like wife beaters. He's watch. so cold with it, dog. <laughs> God fucking rest. 
Like the like he always has one thing that catches us, dog. dog. Just, it's just like the dog. fucking Lakers tickets, dog. No, no, the way uh-huh. he, the way he dropped that. The one, Lakers man. tickets was a uh uh a uh, ad Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck! Ah, now I get it. Up to Daisy, sweetheart. Here we go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> so at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason <laughs> to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. Right. If you're waking from woman. a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. <laughs> Plenty of reasons to hit a woman, you just don't do it. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying? You talking facts, yeah, huh? You never like, annoying? You what? never do anything to get your ass whooped? You above all ass whoopers, like mm. you above... Yeah, you know what I'm saying you're untouchable. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I w- look. I would never put my hand on a woman. How you feel, dog? How you feel about putting your your your, your sister, sticking your your sister, or your cousin on a woman, on a girl? Like I can't whoop her ass, but I my my cousin. She she all whoop day, her ass. all day. She, yeah, all day. That's, that's <laughs> fair, ain't it? That's fair. <laughs> That's, That's fair. fair. That's fair. I can't do it, but she can. Yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah. I purposely didn't tell my sister a few things about some of my exes because I knew what time it was. You knew what would happen. Yeah, right. I knew yeah. what time it was. Yeah, that's facts. <laughs> facts. But yeah. Get to that point where it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They provoking or something like Yo, that. Oh yeah, they provoking. Yeah. I still wouldn't have put my hands on a woman. I'm but, talking about but send, you send, put, send your cousin or your yes, sister yeah, or your yeah. family a relative yeah. that's a female, yeah. Yeah. But the rest head. of us, you're never annoying. <laughs> Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your your fucking guy in the head this week? <laughs> this week. There you go. See? Every day. He's screaming out of the Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You gotta move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's gonna stay in. No reason. Sleep on a futon! I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons (laughs) in that arc of a story. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> when you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. You say there's no reason, you cut out the build up, you just left with the act. How are you gonna solve it if you don't figure it out? Mm-hmm. Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only <laughs> ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What does is, what is answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taking a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. <laughs> there you go. Answer get, him. Answer him. Get on him. Every fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> oh, it's right down the fucking middle. <laughs> Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. And I think you just added another reason. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. <laughs> he no. so cold. He, he cold, boy. He lit off in the ass. That's what he was supposed to that's do. You gotta to get do. on him. That's what you supposed to do. Huh? That's what you supposed to do. That was that was hard right now. That was hard. That was a nice rebuttal. Yeah, that was a nice rebuttal. Comedians, though, he he hit yeah, he hit a homer with that one. Yeah. 
Yeah. He just added another reason. Mm -hmm. Woo! That was hard. That was a bar. That was a bar. <laughs> what was that? That was that nagging one. That was that nagging. I swear, man. Then it, it get to a point where the motherfucker be nagging you so be like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That was that moment right there. That was, ah! that was that moment, yo. Shut up. <laughs> Look, I understand hitting a woman is a bad thing, okay? Well, yeah, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? Mm -hmm. Right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? How did this snake get so mad it almost killed you? Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards, they sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? <laughs> an oily rag. Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start swinging, all right? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, <laughs> ladies, can you at least admit that oh. every ass kicking? Oh my God. It's a little casserole. <laughs> well, I got them whooping ass over to a casserole out there, boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh hey, motherfucker, what kind of act, boy? What kind of motherfucker piece of shit you gotta be to goddamn whoop some ass over some tuna casserole, boy? Hey, boy, <sighs> these ad libs be the funniest, dog. Boy, the ad libs be the best part, boy. Yeah. Okay? Don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> Really? Even mm -hmm. hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you, you know? That's facts. You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. dude, in your heart. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Hearts. What do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? What happened? You know? Or you think maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said? Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I sell my albums and you motherfucker. <laughs> right? <laughs> to be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? <laughs> oh my God, I'll bring my own. I'll bring my own. Hey, Wait, because real I sell clean. more albums than you motherfucker. Shouts out to Chris Brown and Rihanna. <laughs> he took a shot. He took a shot. <laughs> He let this, hey, everybody was upset by the Chris Brown and Rihanna. Yeah. Everybody was looking at Chris Brown like he was a fucking animal. Yeah. He just pretty much just said, what the fuck was Rihanna doing to provoke this to happen? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know how to read between the lines. Yeah, yeah. That was so hey, slick. I'm of women, okay? He didn't say the name, but everybody knows what you're talking about. Yeah. But at least they're taking seriously. You know, people, you got 1-800 numbers, you, get, you, got, you got ribbons, there's groups. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. <laughs> Some woman cut her husband's dick off, threw in the garbage disposal, 
People turned laugh. it on. People thought it was hilarious. They were like, hey, hey, Stumpy, nobody cares. <laughs> you think if a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next day? <laughs> the entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear yeah. for an entire month. The most <laughs> effeminate color they could possibly come up with. Thanks. Hey, dudes that, don't get no love. Yeah, dog. It was, Something happened to a man, so be it. it so was, be it. Funny. It. Yeah. Oh, uh, damn. Just yeah. like, just like. Bow Wow situation. Yeah. Everybody laughing at Bow Wow. He mm. he got into that domestic charge with yeah. uh old, old girl and Bow Wow yeah. mugshot. Goddamn. Yeah. Clearly, you see, goddamn, this motherfucker face, goddamn, all Facts. scratched up. Right? Facts. You know what I'm saying? So everybody quit goddamn laughing. Bow Wow. They ain't, they ain't yeah. looking to old girl though. You know what I'm saying? Looking old girl. Now, what her, happened? But if her face was swollen, it would have been the other way around. Yeah, yeah. Her face looked fire. You know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. how it is, Yo, man. Yo, Bill be spitting that real, dog. Hey, well, there's plenty of reasons. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Yeah, fellas, just don't do it. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Take care of the queens. Take care of our lovely, beautiful women. But women, y'all don't be provoking them men. Put mm, hands on you. Stop, stop putting them reasons out there. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Peace, love, and respect, man. Make sure y'all get somebody a hug today. Bring it in. 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 Yeah, bring it in. in. Ah! Love on each other tonight. And I don't care, I'm just sipping on this yak. They can try to call me in, but.